Hey everybody, greetings and salutations! Everyone likes minions and today I'm going to show you an easy and fun way to paint a minion pumpkin for this fall. There are many different minions to choose from and for this video I'll be using the popular photo of the minion saying what? As you can see this is a pretty simple design and it can be done with little to no carving. In this example I carved out the mouth of the minion just a little bit uh, just to give the pumpkin some relief. Uh, but be forewarned, carving your pumpkin even just a little bit will reduce its shelf life. It definitely will rot in a couple of weeks. So let's get started. So to begin, you need to pick a good pumpkin. Those oval, pill-shaped pumpkins work great as minions. Try to get a pumpkin that is not too small, but not too big. This one is about six and a half pounds. Other tools and equipment you'll need is a good work area covered with newspaper, especially if you're messy like me. A knife, a screwdriver, and some carving equipment, uh, particularly if you're going to be doing any carving, and again, uh, that's, that's optional. Uh, you'll also need some acrylic paint, and uh, lots of yellow and blue paints for your minions. You'll need some paint brushes, uh, some sealer, glue, and gloss. I use a uh, Mod Podge, which is kind of an all-in-one kind of uh, uh, product that does a good job at everything. And also, not shown, you'll need some black pipe cleaners for the hair, and you'll also need something round for the eyes. So it's a good idea to sketch out your design on the pumpkin first, so you get a good idea of how large to make things and where to put them. And if you're going to carve any part of your pumpkin, do that first. That way you can seal it with your sealer to prolong its shelf life after you carve it. Again, uh, carving is optional. So this is what the mouth looks like after it's all been carved out. Um, just, just clean it off a little bit and add the sealer. Again, I use that Mod Podge. Uh, the sealer will prolong the shelf life um, and allow the paint to stick to it a little bit better. It's also optional to apply the sealer to the whole pumpkin, um, but I didn't do that. So now is the fun part of painting the pumpkin. If the sealer is still wet, wait for it to dry uh, or paint a dry area. Uh, since your minion is mostly yellow, let's begin with that color as the base color. And of course, you'll probably need to apply more than one coat. Um, in some areas of my pumpkin, I applied up to three coats. So while you're waiting for the paint to dry, it's a good idea to begin painting the minion's eyes. Uh, these will be mostly white, of course, and again, I use the cutout uh, soup can bottoms. Um, if you use something similar, be very careful, they are very sharp. And so this is what the minion looks like about midway through. Um, I painted the mouth black and I added the blue base for the overalls. Uh, I also applied a second coat of yellow. Next we'll paint the teeth and tongue and add the eyes. So now comes probably the trickiest part of the project, adding the eyes. It's very important to get a good seal um, because otherwise the eyes might fall off. I use that Mod Podge as glue and I press the eyes really hard on the pumpkins. Um, I then wrapped a rubber band around the pumpkin to keep the pressure on the eyes and the pumpkin. Um, as a plan B, I also nailed in two small nails through each eye to fasten them to the pumpkin. Um, but in hindsight, uh, that's totally unnecessary. Uh, you should be able to get a pretty good seal with uh, good glue and some rubber bands. So now we're going to add the hair. Using a small screwdriver, I punctured very small holes in the top of the minion, just large enough to fit the pipe cleaner about one quarter inch deep into the top of the pumpkin. I then added that Mod Podge as a, as a glue kind of substance, and then I put the pipe cleaners in. So for some final touches, I added the suspenders, which are blue, and touched up some areas that needed it. Now we'll use a black marker to make the goggle straps around the head. Um, I freehanded this, but you could use a stencil or a straight edge to help you. There you go, almost done. Now we're just going to use the marker to color in the eyes and we're going to use the Mod Podge as a final gloss all over the pumpkin. 
This is a good time also to take care of any last minute touch ups and remove the rubber bands from the eyes. Um, there's pretty much no going back after this, but of course you can still always uh, touch up any mistakes that you see and stuff like that. All right, here you go. It's all finished. Here's your minion pumpkin. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, make a couple and get ready to impress the kids this year. Thanks for watching.